Hey, welcome back to Ask Me Blown Away. And we've got some more action-packed video for you again this week. So I can show you something you've never seen. But first, here's a quick recap on what happened last week and where we were when you left us. This is the beautiful island of Patmos in Greece. And we are Natalie, Ian and Nelson and we are making our dreams come true. How big are the waves now? Just the head sail up. Just the head sail. Uh, the wind is now from our side. Completely unforecast. Coming from the west. Wind was due to come from the north. Uh, and we've also got 16, 17 knots of wind. As opposed to the ooh, nothing we were supposed to have. So we're quite looking forward to getting into the lee. We're just running under head sail. Nice and controlled. Boat <laughs> speed seven and a half knots under a head saw. We're just pulling along freight train to be honest. I've seen eights a couple of times. This is the island of Levitha where we spent the night. I don't think I could call it attractive. It's not unattractive, but it is a bit like being anchored on the surface of the moon, to be honest. Wind is still blowing from the west, even though we had a northerly in the forecast. So our plans have changed. We were going to carry on heading west, but because of this wind, we're now going to run east. Uh, forecast has changed. There's some stronger winds coming up to 50 knots, so there's no way we're going to hang around here. 50 knots of wind, we need to be um, somewhere a bit more protected than this place. So it's a one night stand, I'm afraid. And we're off. Thank you, Levitha. So normally we paint a rosy picture, we're normally very positive on the things that we say about our lifestyle. But the dog's getting old and it's getting more difficult to keep him happy. big wind forecast it's going into the purple on the windy which means it's 40 to 50 knots so we've already decided that we're going to get in somewhere out of the way and hide basically find somewhere nice either a marina so that we can just walk off with a dog easily or a good safe anchorage where we're protected and we can get the dinghy and run ashore without too many issues this is Kalimnos Harbour Not much in the way of trees, it has to be said. Just looked on that one. <laughs> and there's a whole load of negative information about Kalimnos. Things getting stolen, fake harbour masters, usual shit. And it's, uh, I hope it's better than it looks on the outside, because at the moment I'm thinking we leave tomorrow. But tonight we need some to stay. We stayed in Kalimnos on the town dock for about a week. Uh, we got very familiar with the tourist boats that turn up every day and disgorge hundreds of tourists all off to see the sponge diving factory. Love it. This way, sheeple. This way. Come on, sheeple. Follow the yellow clipboard. <laughs> <laughs> And as much as I'd love to show you the sponge diving factory, um, fortunately we damaged a memory card from the camera and all of the footage was lost. We are just arriving at the island of Lipsy. So these are the islands of Macronesi. There's an underwater 
cave you can swim through to a lagoon. And this is the entrance to Lipsy. Nelson looking pensive. Oh, I need to pee. <laughs> Where are the trees? Get me to a beach. So this is a boat called a Rafnar. It's Norwegian. They are incredible. This place called Matt. Lipsis. This port is Lipsis. the archetypal Greek port of Lipsis. Closely, this is Queen Elizabeth's statue. Closely through what? Rose to Frosted glass. glass. Yeah, there's some quite shallow rocks every so often. Look at how flat some of these rocks are, it's really cool. It's incredible, isn't it? Like that could be a table, like it's it so be, it's level. Yeah. That bit behind you, further around. Yeah, I saw it when Look, there's a goat. Stop. What the hell? How did he get there? There's two of them. How, there's nothing for them to eat here, surely. They, goats do swim occasionally, don't they? Hey, goats. What on earth are you doing up in there? <laughs> They've obviously been there for quite some time by the amount of goat poo up there. Yeah. They're statues. No, they're definitely moving. And it's time to get in the water and go find the cave.
colours. I mean, it is offensively pretty. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we today? It is a rainy Friday morning in Paros in Greece. It's the first rain we've seen since April and it's now mid-September. We just want to say thank you to Sailing Melody, to Andy, Melissa and Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Um, they recently put a, a short clip of one of our videos up and he sent us a thank you for helping him with the restoration of their sailing boat, Melody, which is currently in North Wales, I believe. I think it's North Wales. Somewhere cold and wetter than here. Somewhere cold and wet. Good luck repairing it in cold and wet, mate. Um, anyway, we've, we've just got a whole load of new subscribers off of that clip that Andy shared, and we just wanted to say thank you very much. Um, and welcome to all our new subscribers. It's yeah. good to have you on board. So part of the reason these videos are being made is that it's a record of our travels. So that when I'm sitting and nursing home dribbling, I can just have these videos set to repeat. I just put them on a continual loop on a big screen TV on the wall. One last thing. Does anybody out there like James Bond? If you like James Bond, we've got a special edition coming your way. Right? <laughs> Stay tuned. Say it no more. Flag on for new American uh, subscribers. Outtake. Try this at home. Outtake. Ready? One, two, four. <laughs> 